Excuse me, little dog. Alright, guys, it is another fucking suck ass day in hell. Uh, and another just fucking gray, 41 degree, sleeting, kind of gray, depressing, slip your fucking wrist kind of motherfucking day in, in the goddamn end times. It's fucking Monday, May 1st. 2023. I just posted a fucking rant about what it looks like outside this fucking door uh, on, on fucking May 1st. So anyway, the reason I am up at Sandy's house, other than to uh, find some motherfucking heat uh, in, in the state of New York in the month of May, is this started out a few days ago. I had a few very simple tasks that I wanted Sandy to help me with on my computer. Basically, what I'm trying to do is just move a little bit of money around my own money and my own accounts. So I'm just trying to make a, a little bit of money more liquid to me. And uh, so... She was going, since I have no fucking brain or patience for all of this, Sandy was going to go on here and, and plug in the, these magic little numbers on my fucking laptop. She had all the fucking passwords and usernames, all these fucking account numbers, everything, trying for me to get my own hands on my own fucking money and move my own fucking money from one of my own fucking accounts to, uh, to some other of my own accounts. That was the fucking goal. Move a little bit of money around uh, from, from these different accounts. So what I was going to do for Sandy is, is something that uh, I have been doing pretty much every year for 30 fucking years. And that's go out there and, and get Sandy's uh, drip irrigation system set in her garden. Okay, uh, th th these were very simple fucking tasks for both of us. All right, we were glad to do the favor for I'll, I'll scratch your back. You scratch mine, and so I come up here. I got up here 48 fucking hours ago. 48 fucking hours ago, so Sandy could do an hour, uh, absolute maximum, two hours of work for me, and I could do an hour of work, an absolute maximum uh, of two hours of work for her out in the garden. 48 fucking hours ago, how much progress do you think either one of us have fucking made on our simple goals? If your answer is zero progress on any fucking level, on any level, give yourself a gold star. I am probably farther away. Sandy and I are both farther away from our goal of these, uh, these what we thought were going to be very simple little processes than we were 48 fucking hours ago. It, it, it's just un-fucking believable what, uh, what, what was unleashed when uh, what, what was what was the fucking goal this morning? Okay, the goal was to move some money out of my PayPal into this fucking bullshit called Venmo, which is owned by PayPal. I wanted to move some of my own fucking money out of PayPal into Venmo, which is owned by PayPal. I had the money. I had both the fucking accounts. 
So that was, and, and then the other one was to go into my Patreon where that money's locked up. And I really appreciate the, the few of you stragglers left on my Patreon account. But if you really want to know, okay, I found out that what I am making every month on, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, I am making $181 a month now, and I really appreciate this. This is one third the money I was making a few, a few years ago. On Collapse Chronicles, I am making, uh, what was it, $88 a month, and Sancho Panza is making $7 a month. So my YouTube income, uh, n not counting PayPal donations, and I want to send out a huge thank you to Obsolete Optics for that very kind donation to so Sandy and I can go uh, hit the bar tonight and try to recover from this fucking day that we've been dealing with. But not counting the one-off PayPal donations, I am making, what is that, $250 a month for my uh, work on YouTube. I really do appreciate anyone still dealing with that. So anyway, I wanted to, uh, to put some money out of my Patreon just into some liquid bank account. Uh, you know, take it out of there, put it into my fucking bank. There you go. Uh, there are millions of people all over the world who are every fucking day moving their money around from PayPal to Venmo and all of this shit and, and moving their money from their Patreon account into their bank accounts. Uh, I, I have had all of these fucking accounts for years. I have no fucking clue how to do any of this shit. And uh, Sandy said, no problem. Well, she found out what was involved. So I'm sitting here... Uh, not counting, I guess, being able to go to a, a bank where I still have some money left. I, I, I have no way of getting my own hands on my own fucking money in Patreon. I have three Patreon accounts, two PayPal accounts, uh, one Venmo account, and, and I cannot get my fucking hands on one penny of any of that fucking money today. Can't happen. So what we found out, I guess, the bottom line, the trouble with Venmo is that this all started because Amazon started collecting and saying that they could take payments on Venmo. And also Venmo said uh, that they, they have this debit card. And I, I said, pretty cool. So understand that eBay takes PayPal, fucking uh, Home Depot takes PayPal, Lowe's takes PayPal, Patreon will put uh, your money from Patreon into your PayPal. But Amazon.com does not accept PayPal, but it does accept Venmo, uh, which is owned by PayPal. There is just one fucking problem. You understand that I've been using this little Venmo account for years on this fucking laptop. I've received money on Venmo. I've paid out money using this laptop, but everything we tried to do on the fucking laptop uh, would jam, and nothing could be done, and we finally fucking learned that, uh, I, I guess, that, that you no longer can, can do anything on Venmo with, without some fucking app. You, you can't get your, you can't make any payments on, uh, to Amazon without some fucking app. You can't get your little debit card without some fucking app. To get the fucking app, there's that fucking little white square with all of those squiggly fucking little lines all over it. Those motherfucking things. Uh, good fucking God. There is no way anymore, and you're going to see this more and more. And it's right out of that fucking book, The Every 
by Dave Eggers uh, talking about you can watch this happening that the, you're, you're, you don't get more opportunities you get they, they, they're, they're, they're moving all of this shit onto these fucking apps they are getting this entire planet addicted to these fucking little white squares with the black squiggly lines and and, and, and if you don't have uh, your fucking little apps without your little white squares with the black squiggly lines, you are fucked. With each passing year, you're going to be more and more fucked. What the nefarious they want, they want us fucking old dinosaurs to die. We are old and in the way. What they're looking for is to create... A, 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 a literally a captive audience, what they're wanting is every single human being on this planet to be born into the fucking generation uh, with, with this thing, uh, you know, welded to our palm. That with every passing day, you're, you're more and more and more of this shit. It's turning up everywhere. The only fucking way you're able to fucking do anything is put on a fucking app with one of these little white squares with the black squiggly lines. You try to get a ticket to a fucking folk festival without having one of these little apps with the white squares with the squiggly lines on it. I, I challenge you to get a fucking hot dog on a fucking Amtrak train w without having some fucking little white square with the black squiggly lines. Uh, it, it access, you, you, you cannot access, there's nothing you can do. Today it's Venmo. Tomorrow it will be PayPal. The next day it will be your own bank accounts. You will be locked out of your own money if you, if A, if you refuse to be part of their little, their good little slave game and, and, and you, you know, and bend over and spread them and get the fucking mark of the beast. You're, 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 you're already fucked. And pretty soon, you're just going to be locked out of your own fucking money. You are not going to be able, well, within 10 years, you are not going to be able to get your hands on your own fucking money if you don't have the, one of these things. And when, for whatever reason, your cell phone is not operating, whether you're out of range, the fucking cell phone towers has a problem, some fucking hacker has come in there, you're not going to, and for whatever reason, you can't get into these fucking little white squares with the black squiggly lines, you are fucked. This is exactly where we're going in this fucking society. This, this is the very tip of the fucking iceberg, what Sandy and I have been dealing with. Uh, there was no fucking reason for Venmo to do this. Venmo was a very simple thing to do uh, on a fucking laptop computer. But now, and, and, and uh, so just think. So they get the entire fucking population of this planet 100% dependent on these goddamn uh, little smartphones with their fucking white squares with their squiggly lines. This is why for years I have been saying, what the fuck do you think the collapse of global industrial civilization is going to look like once again, anybody who does not know what this is going to fucking look like, I will show you what it's going to look like. collapse, we're walking right into their fucking trap. 
where, 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 where these fucking clueless fucking little sheeple were going right into this and, and, and all of these little young, uh, beautiful people, Generation Zers, they love this shit. See, this was the, the, the thing about the every, was you, you, you know, anybody, anybody blowing the whistle on, the, on this bullshit where this was headed, the, the biggest problem you're going to find is, is that this, the, this whole fucking tsunami uh, of these generations coming uh, in behind us, they are 100% cheering this fucking bullshit on. They love this shit. Uh, the, 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 this is why, you know, you ask a fucking 12-year-old to order you a fucking hot dog next time you're, you're, you're on the fucking Amtrak like I was. Right I'm looking at a fucking pile of sandwiches there. I, I, I got a fucking pocket full of cash. And, and the motherfucker telling me we don't take your cash. We need to see that little, I will give you a hot dog when you give me a little fucking white squiggly line. You're not going to be able to fucking eat. You're not going to be able to get your fucking money. And, 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 but anybody uh, pointing this bullshit out where this entire fucking planet uh, is going and, and how we are putting all of this fucking power giving it to whoever controls the fucking little white squares with the squiggly lines. Whenever, for whatever reason, be it the nefarious they, being it a fucking hacker, being it a fucking tornado taking down the cell phone tower, whatever the fucking reason you lose uh, access to these fucking little white squares with the black squiggly lines. You're fucked. We're fucked. Uh, it, it's, it, there you go. They, uh, all an AI, if, if AI wants to fucking uh, take over humanity, the fucking AI little robots get hold of the fucking little white squares with the black squiggly lines. The entire fucking human race are having these fucking little things rammed up our asses, rammed down our fucking throats. Anybody calling the fucking bullshit whistle, you're, you're an old fucking dinosaur. We want you dead out of the fucking way. And uh, so that is what uh, Sandy and I have been dealing with on that. So 48 hours uh, after coming up here to move, I have not managed to move one penny. I have not gotten my hands on one penny of my own fucking money out of any of these accounts. I can't figure out how to do it. Sandy can't figure out how to do it. I called my fucking sister, my rich sister, uh, and she threw up her hands. She goes, you know, she's 71 years old. She, she goes, I don't fuck with anything with a mobile app, is what my multi-millionaire sister, I just, uh, I, I, I don't fucking, uh, I, I just don't deal with these fucking mobile apps. Uh, the, the goddamn hackers are lined up from here to Nigeria, uh, circling like buzzards over this. So that's going on uh, on, uh, on, on, on one fucking hand. So here's what's going on in my own life. So while Sandy is trying to, to do that simple favor for me, I have already... If I put in two or three drip irrigation systems uh, in this garden, I, apparently the reason that the drip irrigation here is to cause the well water uh, is kind of nasty. So she she's lucky to get one year out of you know out of these little emitters. So every year I come up here, it should take one hour, and uh, to do this. And I have been doing this for 30 years, 
So basically what it is, is these little tubes. Okay, you have two, these are quarter inch, quarter inch drip irrigation tubing. It's been on this, I, I've been working with this shit for 30 years. I have been doing these irrigation systems. I've done this own fucking garden. How many times? So, just to, I mean, this is way oversimplified, but this is essentially what I'm up here doing. This is real rocket science. Okay. So how drip irrigation works, at least this very simple system, what happens, you have a tube going this way, a 5 8 inch tube, then you connect the tube to the quarter inch you to the quarter inch drip tube. So the, how you do that is with a little connector piece Then obviously you don't want the water to spill out the other end. So there's two things. There's, okay, you got three things going here. You've got the tube. On one end, on the far end, you want to put a, a little plug in the end so the water doesn't come out. So I, I go through sandy stuff and I find these little plugs. I put them in the, uh, the tubing. They're tight, which you want them to be tight. There you go. Okay, so we just put the end plug into the quarter inch tubing. This is real rocket science, so the water does not spill out of this. Then you have these quarter inch little uh, things that you know you stick one end into the main line, the water comes through the main line, it goes in to this, to this little connecting piece and the little connecting pieces, these little barbed pieces, connects, connects the fucking quarter inch to the 5 8 inch line. For years, I've, I, have, I have hooked up probably 10,000 of these things. So guess what? I come up here, I get this, which apparently was made by the Dig Corporation. The line was made by the Dig Corporation. The connecting barbs were made by the Raindrip Corporation. If you go on Amazon.com and put these things in here, you will see the word universal. That these things uh, for the past 30 years have been universal. You can get whatever fucking uh, tubing you want to, you take the thing and you stick it in and guess what? It doesn't fucking go in. The, the fucking tube. Because these are proprietary. So, uh, we, we cannot put the fucking drip irrigation system on because you can't secure the dig corporation into the rain drip corporation. And so now we're waiting for the uh, rain drip corporation, but I do notice that I'm sure you will all get a huge laugh as Sandy listening to this will too. So guess what? For the past 48 hours, I have been trying to stick this universal <laughs> thing in here for, I've tried 50 different times. It has never worked. I make this rant and it goes right in and it's in rock fucking solid. <laughs> so, uh, you're crazy. Uh, you know, we already brought the fucking tubing in and put it in front of the fire to warm it up. So we have been sitting here for two days 
trying to get this in. We just got on the phone to the Dig Corporation <laughs> out in California, ordered these quote, universal things because they would not go in, and now I'm illustrating how they don't go in, and they go in. By the way, the last frost date at your place is May 18th. May 18th. That's, for the, that's the latest of it, it, its frost date. So, there you go, guys. I, I guess the moral of this story, if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try. Try, 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 try again. And eventually, if you keep sticking the fucking thing in here, it will go in. You, 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 you gotta, I, I'm really trying to appreciate the humor in this. Uh, I give up. I fucking give up. But anyway, I guess finally the I finally the goddamn tubing got warm enough. So if you're ever doing this drip irrigation and things aren't working, they're not going in, probably what it is is that you're trying to install a summertime drip irrigation system in the middle of fucking winter when it's goddamn sleeting inside. So the the you know the hose is very um, you, you need to, what you need to do is put it out in the warm sun for a couple of hours and it will make the, uh, the plastic hose a lot more pliable. And I mean, you gotta, it, it, it hurts like hell on your fingers. But anyway, uh, I guess this rant is finally, we have the drip irrigation problem solved so I can head out into the sleet and at least Sandy will get her drip irrigation. I don't know whether I will ever get my hands on any money, but uh, somehow uh, we will figure out how to uh, get uh, that very kind guest from Obsolete Optics. Uh, I love that, uh, that appropriate name. And uh, we're going to go get dinner tonight, and we are not going to pay for it with a fucking little white square with the black squiggly marks on it. Ain't gonna happen. We're gonna find some other way to have a delicious dinner and some drinks without involving a white square with black squiggly lines. But speaking of black squiggly lines, I have to get to work on this drip irrigation system. And, and I guarantee you, I'm going to turn the fucking camera off. I'm going to reach in here. I'm going to pull out the next one of these little uh, things. And it's not going to go in the fucking tube. <sighs> Bye, guys.